In this tutorial, we are going to learn media queries, which is one of the important topic in CSS. Because almost 50% of users use mobile devices or tablets to visit websites in 2022. So let's don't waste time and get started. First of all, let's see what is media queries. Media queries are used to provide different styles for different devices by their features like width, height, orientation, etc. So with this, we can create web pages looks great on desktop as well as mobile phones and tablets. And we call these websites responsive websites. For example, Facebook website is a responsive website because we got different styles for desktop computers and for mobile devices. Let's see how to create media queries. So first of all, I write exclamation mark and press tab and VS Code generate the boilerplate for us. Now let's create style.css and link this style.css file with our HTML file. Now in the body, I'm going to create one div and give it a class container. Now inside this container, I create two more divs with class box1 and box2. Now I add paragraph with lorem30 and copy this paragraph and paste it inside the box too. Now let's add some style here. So in style.css, first I add box1, background color to purple, color to white and padding 1 ram. Now for box2, background color let's say gold, color to black and padding 1 ram. Now let's run this HTML file with live server so we don't need to refresh it again and again. See. We get two paragraphs with two colors. Now let's make this responsive. So to build responsive website, we have two approaches. We can build desktop version first and then adjust the styles related to tablets and mobiles. Or we can build mobile version first and then adjust the styles related to tablets and desktops. Most of developers use this mobile first approach because it's easier to create mobile version first and then according to available space, we can add items or change styles for tablets and desktops. I personally recommend this mobile first approach, but you can use whatever you want to. It's totally up to you. In this example, we use this mobile first approach, which means we build mobile version first and then adjust the styles for desktops. So for mobile screen, I want to set these divs vertically and for desktop version, we set these divs horizontally, which means first box 1 and then box 2 in same line. Now let me show you something cool. With Chrome Dev Tools, we can see our website on various screens and various mobile devices. So click on these three dots, then go to more tools and then select developer tools. Now click on this toggle device button. So currently we are watching iPad screen. We can change this by using drop down list. If you select responsive, you can resize device height and width manually. For now, I select iPhone SE and it looks fine for mobile devices. Now we just need desktop version. So for desktop, we simply add display flex for this container because we know by default flex direction is set to row. So we just need display flex for desktop version. Now back to our style.css and always at the bottom we write media queries. So to define media queries, we have to first write at the rate media and then we type our query. This query can have multiple parts like device type and expressions. In simple terms, query has the conditions. So the first condition is media type. There are four types of media. Screen for screen devices like desktop, tablets and mobiles. Print for printers speech for screen readers that reads the page and all for all media type devices. Most of time we use screen and all for media type. And if you don't write any media type, CSS by default use all. So here we write screen for screen devices. Now we add second part of this query. So we use and operator and in this parenthesis we type condition. Here, we will check if our screen is wider than our breakpoint or not. So first, let's find our breakpoint for this example. So back to Chrome 
and open developer tools. And when the developer tools are open, we can see our screen size at the top of the screen. Here we check at which point our style looks not good. So resize the screen size and I think on 780 pixel it's not looking good. So that's our breakpoint. And if you don't want to find breakpoint like this, I have some predefined breakpoints that used in most websites. You can use whatever you want to use. Here I stick with this 780 pixel. Now back to style.css and here I add min width colon 780 pixel. So if this query is true, then the style we define inside this curly brackets will apply. Otherwise this will ignore by the browser. Here we can define our styles for our desktop screens, which will override these styles. So I add container display flex. Now save the changes and take a look. See when our screen width is less than 780 pixel, we get our original style. And when it's greater than 780 pixel, we get divs in row. Now also I want to change the background color of this box 1 for desktop screens. So I write box 1 background color to dodger blue. Here you can add whatever style you want for different classes. Now save the changes and take a look. See we get dodger blue color for desktop screens. Now here you can use many expressions like min width, max width, min height, max height, orientation and so on. I will give you the list of expression in the PDF. You can download it from description box. Now some of you might think why we have to write media query at the bottom of our all styles. So let's move this box one style after the media queries. And guess what will happen? So our divs align horizontally but background color of box one will not change because CSS runs top to bottom. So this box one style will overwrite this desktop style. And that's why we always write media queries at the bottom. I hope you understand media queries in CSS. If you have some doubts, you can ask me in comment section or on my Instagram account. So see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.